Second map, the LG Wolves, and Wolves have cooked up the weirdest comp that I think we've seen so far. Killjoy and Cypher. No Sage, nothing to help plant the spike. The plan is to just go for it, I guess. This is going to be an interesting one. And this was Wolves' pick. So this is like what they've been cooking up. As for BLG, you've got Harbor Viper, which I quite like. And then the rest is like fairly standard stuff. Common roles that you see these players on. And it's looking like a beast split with two players pushing past this. Cybercage to sneak in this position. Your Yosemite just gets completely caught off. It really didn't seem like he knew that there was anybody there. K Knight running to the other side of holes to try and get a pick, get out, make it a 4 versus 4. Completely open sight though here. And look at this camera that was in CT. Why are you just sending it over here with a camera to catch all of this in 4K? Flex is on an aggressive angle, but him going down means that there's no Viper War now. The War 3 versus 3 is just going to come down to aim duels. Why is he going to be going in? On the other side of yellow, Recon Dart cleared instantly. Why are you even just going for a fight? But now it's a 1 versus 2 for Coldfish. He has a Recon. Picking the plan. Oh, and they just line up for him! Very clean. Good idea, though, from BLG to, like, fake the defuse and have two people facing, but it looked like a spray transfer, but he was on a ghost. He was just spraying so fast. It's the Battle of the Brothers in EMEA. I know it's Sangrin Bowl and I'm missing it. What website can I use to get live stats? For China, it's harder because the API access isn't available for a VLR and stuff. There is a Riot website, but it's a little bit janky, a little bit slow and just hard to get around. But the best idea, yeah, is like VLR is your best thing that they put all that stuff in manually. What is this for, like, pistols, then? One each? Well, no. Well, now it's 2-1. But it was one all on a cent. Wow, uh, these three people... all pushing in mid. I'm just going to be a straightforward AXQ. Uh, Plix has lost a gun. Lots of fights, unfortunately, with frenzies aplenty, so it's a free versus free. And Aluba is stuck. Trying to transfer. YZ is about to ace on a frenzy from the looks of it. Bear's low. It's good to wall off some of the site, but this crossfire is probably too good. Still good damage done from BLG, but really awkward. Not that great at all. In fact, my back is starting to like give up on me, so I'm going to sit down. I was trying to hold out, but I've done a lot of standing over the last couple of days. You know anything about the BCT China capsules? Um, only thing I realistically know is that they're coming later in the year. Rumor is it's going to be around Master Shanghai, but not necessarily too sure on the details outside of that. We got dots on either side, seeing if they can catch any information early, and they can't. Full buy here now against the bonus for Wolves, which doesn't look much like a bonus at all after how badly that last round went. So they full bought into this as well. Even uses the L drone early. You got the turret to sort of aggressively hold this, you got the camera for mid. I just don't know how they intend to, like, against good teams that are going to be, like, very, like, plant denial, how this comp could even begin to work. Other than, like, just allowing YU the chance to, like, lurk up. Maybe running that hog wild in was a little bit much. And now it's starting to pull a BLG into various positions. Why is he pushing mid alone? They have all this. Five ball goes up on B. There should be a fairly like 
Difficult plant still for wolves because you have the nano swarm still here. Trade in, like, why does he get to one before being traded? But they lose the viper wall, so it's going to make it even harder to plant. So they have to kind of like make shift something by using the jet smokes. Good control from the gun from Yosemite. And the Luba is in a one versus three. And it's just that late push from behind behind. So this is not only like a win against the bonus. It wasn't even a bonus. It was a full buy. So maybe in, even after see Wolves Eco. Round four. <laughs> they have this eco now. Kind of rough on the money, but BLG have kept it kind of problematic. Even got the outlaw now for YZ. It's nice to see him like the fence up a little bit more because it looked pretty decent on ascent from the bits and pieces that we saw from it. But outside of that, mm, and of more of the same from YZ since last year. As a blade storm too, if it gets a little bit out of hand. Yeah, somebody was stuck. Now nah, he's still kind of stuck. The recon actually that comes in from Bianca is great. And now Bear putting a wall up, trying to help you somebody get out, but all three players now want to fight this a little bit more now that they have the advantage. Goldfish is pretty low now. Alright, pushing up. Cascade is going to buy more time. Shrug that going in, doesn't hit anything. It's just forcing out more utility and making the next round even more expensive for Wolves. But like getting the plan down at this point is... It feels impossible. Like without the main bits of utility that you typically have. I thought Global Esports were cooking with their bind comp. I think this might be like even more wild for Wolves. I do like Cypher on Icebox. I do think that that's a bit underrated, but Cypher and Killjoy. Also, the like round three, the one the Wolves lost and then went on to an Ecofall. They got the first kill here, didn't they? And then why you just overheated? You potentially got free agents to like lurk and find space on wolves, which I guess is like maybe something that they can work with. And I guess it just makes like their defense horrible to play on. Against even, not on. They have got so much. They've been able to push up the here with the lockdown. Like, there's no fighting this. There's no. Like, this is just a lot of space given for free for Wolves. I guess BLG just happy to play retake on it. But still, like. These guys don't have much to help them plan, and you're giving them retakes. Spring maybe has to do a little bit better there. A little bit of a gap for Plix to look through. Doesn't quite get it. Yosemite is just wise enough to get the fight. Alambo almost gave away the game from Aluba. Wise is going for the flank. And yeah, these retakes are looking very nice from BLG. The goal is to get as much runs as he can on attack. To be fair, I think that's the plan for every team, right? This is how we win against BLG. We get to 13 rounds before they do. 
表示他在回防过程当中是稳扎稳打，多条枪线，多个角度，多个路线是稳步前进，每一个角度好像都打赢了。对。All right, BLG looking a little bit more like comfortable. 每个分区都有一个小团战，但是每一波都是。And another he needed for walls. 哎呀呀！特别多。那现在王者继续莽侠，继续莽住。Why is he at least on farm seven and three? Yeah, BLG is league roster to play call night two. I got very confused when I saw the announcement for that. I was like, wait. Wolfcon could definitely do a lot on defense. I agree there, but like on attack, it's just do what you can. Alright, Spring gets one with a stinger. Good discipline from YZ. No overextending. Let's them have the neural theft. Basically, hiding places that can get wall banged or spread through smokes. And now these two players that were pinged over here. There is ran all the way to A just in case. There's a lockdown. There is a one away from Hunter's Fury. Maybe two. No, just one. And then two for the reckoning. 感觉狼队这个阵容选择出来，我们一开始对他们期待可能是有更多的单摸，或者说对于边线的一个掌控。但现在好像这个抱团的频率是有点高。Spring is having a rough best of three. It's not really needed to do too much though. Oh no, not an anti eco like this. Been too many of these in China. Traded nicely, bear in a one versus three. Spike still hasn't been planted though. Might not even be needed. Sorry, my lips are super dry. They have been non-stop rambling for seven hours almost. Gonna have to count up all of these thrifties. Uh, and that was uh, anti-eco, where the buy was better for BLG and they get the first kill. Just the spring was pinging the minima. And a timeout for Wolves. Game on day one at like 10 thrifties, true. Five should be good for Wolves. Yeah, with this comp. Can you imagine if this is the thing that like becomes the meta for the next year? Just seen a JDG match, super disappointed. What do you think went wrong? Um, I think Tech. I'd say for JDG, what went wrong is they played Lotus and it didn't seem like they changed anything from last year, so it was like an easy read and anti strat in favor of Tech. And they just had a lot of individual moments. JDG also adjusted to coming in Chinese. Adjusted with the new IGL, and just a lot of nerves and expectations. Like they play for JDG now, it's a really difficult org to represent because there's a lot of expectations. Stu played amazingly, but I don't think anybody else really did. But I think if there was a team that was going to look really rusty to begin with, it'd be JDG. But they might, like, kind of like Team Secret against Talon, like, they might just bounce back, like, instantly. Get a bit of uh, confidence playing up against AG. The elimination game tomorrow. And you could just see them kind of be back to where they used to be. Oh, they tried to plant in the normal spot. You got the Viper's Pit there. Seems like they're still going for, like, the upper plant each time. Now they're going for default. Viper's Pit is going to be respected. Is there a Hunter's Fury to break it? There is. Coldfish is going to use it. I mean, Hunter's Fury is going to go on to where the Silver is. Reckoning, a lot of ultimates used. Flex is just running around in his own Viper's Pit to try and avoid the Reckoning. He goes down, so the Viper Pit is down. Goldfish in a 1 versus 3. Ooh, wow, a lot of stuff to unpack there. Well, we saw Hunter's Fury, Lockdown used on one side. Viper's Pit, Hunter's Fury used on the other. And Reckoning too, so what, 7 ultimates? BLG given the A site so often? Yeah, I mean, against this comp, it could definitely kick you in the ass. But knowing that, like, 
I guess they paid attention to it last time. Maybe the coach even called it. And when they planted on attack on A, they planted up on the high ground. And they don't have a cove, so just wallbang the shit out of it, you know? Now Viper's Pit is going to be used on the defense. This is against like a full buy and a blade storm for Wolves. But every big ultimate that they had, other than like a lockdown, they used. Why is he saying the fall? I mean, yeah, it's like a good performance from everybody else so far. I'm trying to like sit back in my chair a little bit more because I feel like I'm just leaning over like a goblin. Just waiting for spring with the up, so that's the blade stop gone. Watching now on pipes, you've got Bear here on the harbour watching towards like Shazam. Why is this position being given up? A snake bite shock that just narrowly dodged. I'm going to shrug that a little bit deeper, but managing to get out. That's a bit of support from Bianc above as well. Bear just getting a peek onto a Luba. Sitting back a little bit more. The Viper's Pit not really going to be any impact over on B. 20 seconds left. Wolves don't have time to rotate. Just going to have to try and go for the plant without having a Sage. Just going to go on default. Anything to realistically stop it. There's Nana Swarm for night, but in fact, he's just going to push it with his face. Two versus two, and somehow Wolves have won it. YU was 5 HP. How did they win that? It was a two versus three, and YU was basically dead. Plex has done marvelously there. Yeah, Plex isn't sat in the middle. So yeah, the UI is definitely based on where they're sat. Because Plex was like, yeah. But usually, so I guess some a lot of teams typically have their IGL set in the middle, and I guess these guys just don't care. How do you feel about BLG right now? I'm worried about them overall. Need to probably have the lead at half time, I think, with both of these. Just going on to an attack side where you're going into a killjoy and a cipher. Why he was just being an absolute menace on these lurks. I love just how like unafraid he is. Don't know if they sort of gone over towards kitchen because the alarm bot is just more towards under and snow pile. Plex has found two yet again. Why is he doesn't hit anything with the operator? Why he was lurking and here's the drop from Knight jumping out the window. Snake bite right on the angle, just as Coldfish peeks around. Very good Valorant. Wolves on five, BLG on an eco, maybe? Oh. And the post plant. Camera two for a bit of information. The trip to stop anybody from pushing them as well, that goes across here. Great round again from Plex. Do you see a roster change soon or is it too early? Well, there is no roster lock, so you could do, like, if BLG don't make Madrid, you could make a roster change for sure. Well, I don't know. I think you probably do it if they don't make Shanghai. But I do think it's too early. Like, hard to really know. Fix his trade to top level. He's been fantastic. Like, this map of the series. He was good on Weibo, but never really saw him that much, to be honest. Is it more Wolves being good or BLG being bad? Column A, Column B. Ooh. 
But I think Wolves are definitely outperforming expectations for sure. Actually, I'm thinking, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to host Sideshow after this, because he's watching EMEA. Perhaps like he doesn't mind. Oh, I've said that on the VOD. I've caught myself in 4K. Whoops. Said it on the Sliggy VOD channel that I'm posting somebody that isn't him. Oof. <laughs> Nobody clip that. Just send it to him, please. I don't want to get in trouble with with Dad. Is that the sec? Well, it's the first time out for BLG because the first time that we saw earlier today was Wolves. Sliggy the raid collector. Well, he just raids me when I'm like still doing China and he's done, and then I'll raid him. We got a we got a conglomerate building. Sliggy's building a monopoly on co streamers. I accept being adopted by Sliggy. I mean, it's very kind of him to like with all of the support that he's given me over the last week or so. Even the casters are losing their voices with some of just the waffle that they've had to do here, and that's six for wolves. Hold on, I never really like paid attention to this round, so I wasn't like looking too specifically at it, but like let's rewatch them again. So why is he goes down first towards B? Does he go through the the wall? And then there's a trade, and then a trade upon a trade. Am I seeing if you can find any more space? Not really. Lockdown use. Oh, I pretty much confirms around of that. Alright. He's a raid demon, he doesn't need to sleep. Six rounds of attack is crazy. I feel like, uh, yeah. Getting this many attack rounds against. I think BLG's whole game plan here is just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. They don't have like an easy way to plant the spike and you're letting them plant so you can play retake. Like, sorry, I know that teams have a general way of how they want to play and approach this map, but if you see that they're not running a Sage, a Harbor or a Gecko, you change your game plan to punish that as much as humanly possible. Spring must be so pissed. I mean, his team are winning. Like, he won't care. It's just a shame that he is finding, like, a tough time, but good stuff to VOD review and improve on. Right, round 11, though. Walking up. Really, that's all you can do, it feels like, for Wolves. If the recon dart is going to be coming in, why you get completely decimated in this corner because there's nothing to help him. And, like, this is more like what you want to see from BLG. Just, all right, you want to try and plant on the B site with nothing? We're just going to fight you there. Mm. BLG looking to make this six at half. Abba should be in Cascading Belt early. Uh, on defense, uh, either or. Like, doing a Cascade for, like, B long is not too shabby. Well, you can cascade this, you can wall this, you can obviously like push and do it a little bit deeper. But I think, yeah, that's one of the things that BLG's comp is missing, it's just a little bit more of like this. They've done it a couple of times, but their A site is just completely like open. 
他肯定不会犯这样的一个这个失误，可以让你能够轻松的进点。是，比尔基又是在 B 前点给了一个狂潮，想要顶过来，又是收集到了足够多的信息。那这次小 K， I have to ask Nate after this, like what on earth they're thinking with this comp? It shouldn't be doing this much damage on attack, however. 看一下怎么去做选择。呃，二楼包下不了，还有个自动哨兵，呃，还有一个大米蜂群的。郭峰的人是位置是被找到了。All of these little trips and the cameras. Why he's basically pulled up a chair? <laughs> it's just on the A site. Oh, lockdown though. No. And this fear is going to break it, so why he doesn't need to worry about it too much. Hammer gets broken. A little bit of information to work with. Flank control is gone with two sentinels. <laughs> so Aluba just having to face this with his face. And Bear just doesn't properly like clear it because there's too much there. And Everybody on Wolves just turns around. And it's going to be a 7-5 half. I said it's going to be a 7-5 half before YZ gets a couple. He didn't have alarm behind him. The turret was facing forward. And then his alarm ball, I think, was broken. The cipher has been used as a pseudo deadlock. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Like it's just effectively given why you like you can just be this sort of like delay agent, same way that you'd have with like the deadlock uh, trips. So she has, and I guess it makes sense a little bit because like Spring was on there. So they kind of maybe took what like Aaron and stuff were cooking and tried to copy it apart. Oh, he still had a lamp, as in like he had it in his pocket. They didn't put it down. I see what you mean when he still had a lamp. Yeah, that is a little bit silly, isn't it? At the picture of the judge. Yeah, look at Bear in his picture. Absolute meat monster. So think it would go to town when the micro mistakes that these teams are doing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like, because I know that this is probably like just the main English stream to an extent. I don't want to get like super like, analytical with it. I just want to provide some nice vocals over what the hell's going on. Enjoy your chilled approach, thank you. I think this is an important pistol to win, though, if you're BLG. Don't really know what the hell you're supposed to do without it. Where is all of this utility then? Camera here, Nano Swarm here, Trip here, and Aluba has not got the alarm box they can't afford and they have a turret but it's in their pocket a deep turret too it's why you like intended to like peek off of the turret going off I don't know what they're going to be doing. Yeah, he is. Yeah, look at that. I, I mean, you missed your opportunity. You didn't get it. Nice try, though. Good idea. Completely open A site. Camera's not being activated. Just playing pure retake over this. We appreciate you covering this over EMEA. Uh, my friendship with EMEA is over. China's my best friend. Plant could have come in. Fast retake. Sprinting in. 
Wolves has taken a lot of damage from various places, but Spring is still alive. There's one player that was on site. Spike hasn't even been planted. They just waterfalled in, and then you've got this trip over there that isn't even needed either because Aluba just speaks him. This might be a problem. Seeing Wolves playing as DDG would be a really interesting, like, series, though. Well, like BLG just straight panicking here. I mean, it is a little bit like spaghetti for both sides with the fights that they're taking, but I guess that's only going to lead into... Nice from Luba. That's only going to lead into, like, Wolves' success, I guess. Flix is ready to break the recon. Doesn't come through. It's just a cascade now from BLG. No force up, really, no utility to work with. Might be able to get a plant. I guess this is a good chance, at least for Bear, to get some information. Oh, sorry, K Knight. Get some information on how they're playing A. Camera's on the opposite side. Camera's broken. Trip is going across from Gen onto 410 from Lux. You could do a trip as well that's like on the top of this box that goes straight up. And you got the turret on top of this. It's watching across and then the alarm button off the snow pile. And they've absolutely smoked them. They know that the last player alive was the one that was lurking on their own. And so it's just a case of walking into the sight line. K Knight's been spotted. See if they kind of go hunting here. China never lost the EU at champs. Wait, haven't they? Have they never played each other? Why are you such a solid player? I liked him in FBX. Yeah, he was one of my favorite players to watch, especially for that team. Oh, yeah, EDG did beat Navi and Giants. And NRG. Wonder if that'll change this year, though. Because I don't know what Chinese teams we're going to be seeing actually making it to Madrid. Do you have any connection to the China teams or simply covering the league? I know a couple of people on various teams like Bukashu, Nain, um, Stu. But I'm not I'm not affiliated with any of the teams. Maybe I like go up on the train a couple of hours to Birmingham to see if Wolverhampton Wanderers want a streamer for Valorant. Even though it's a completely different language than what your team plays in. Don't get it back from China. Be nice. I mean, I'd be down to like be a content creator for any of these orgs. But there's obviously a lot of issues with um, being able to do that. Saying that though, Navi signed a new watch party, didn't they? Who's um, they uh. Mandarin streamer. Yeah, Korean, he is Polish. True. I think Wolves makes the most sense, but in all honesty, I don't know anybody that knows anybody from Wolves. Maybe I message Nate about it and just be like, hey, I was thinking. But I doubt, realistically, I think Wolves would be the only ones, right? Because obviously, you know, they're a British organization, I suppose, but just owned by Fosun. Yeah, BLG are very popular, very, very popular. Anywho. Full buy has just been ass blasted. It's gone. That was it. That was it. That was the full buy against the bonus, and they just get body. One of them played for Nip, yes, Spring did. Yeah. 
Everything looks so disjointed from BLG. I've really been watching since the timeout. Yeah, Springs back. What is the setup this time? Nana Swarm on the plant in like upper. Two trips, camera, turret, a bot. And then the Viper just holding B on their own with the one way. Good luck trying to get on the A site with all of this. Alright. Mai's got the first opening onto YC. I mean, it's pretty much like gone by at this point. One versus two now for Bear, the IGL, newest player. These two players from Wolves aren't together, and it's 40 odd seconds for Bear to work with. Mm, just Aluba's cleaner with it. I think I'm a Wolves fan now. We should have had a name now. I mean, at least they have a sick logo. Barely saw him. Just a couple of pixels and he manages to get the headshot after. Five eleven. Hard, hard side to come back on now for BLG. It's been all wolves on this defense. We can dart in kitchen. Walling across this way. And the plant is going up on top of the high ground. I this Fury is going to be used. It does actually get YZ. And it either gets right onto this corner because Yu probably just pings it and says there's somebody stood right next to me. Really nicely played from Wolves. Are they on the defuse too? Yeah, they just stick it. Yu does masterful work there. Coldfish's ultimate is great. Just way too much information that Wolves has that BLG just can't get in. Premier League team, biggest China village. Yeah. Nero Feft to get a bit more information. DPS is stuck too. Just very, very clean. Yeah. Seven chances. There is a buy barely put together. And I really am wondering what wolves are thinking. <laughs> Who came up with this and why is it good? So BLG, if they lose this, they either have to play against Wolves again, or they have to play up against DDG. Both are hard games. Look how comfortable this is, though. Wolves. Tim is their defensive side on ascent. They just sat pretty. They know where they should be. They know what to do if a certain bit of utility is used. The protocols on this team are so well drilled, considering they're so new. Unbelievable performance. Why is he gets one through the high tide? Trip goes onto YZ, but there's still like no follow up. You got Yu that's on the bottom of this wall, gets a nice peek and trade onto YZ after he gets a second. So the player advantage is still in favor of BLG. It's been added onto by all of these guys. And now it's just picks on his own in a 1 vs 4. First round that BLG's been able to pick up on their attack side. 
Another six chances. Good couple of kills to get YC started. I do like that trade though from YU. The rest of the team clears up. Wolves time out now for Nate. Looks like it. What is the score of the Navi versus Team Liquid? Oh, Navi have already won. Oh, it literally just finished. Okay. Everyone now. Was it one sided? Was it close? 13 7. Wow. Good win. Now we won every attack round. Were they on Fade Breach? A good come to be running, I think. Everyone after winning two pistols, lost first half 7-5 and then just rolled on T side. Nice. Things we like to see. Also, FX Mox, thank you for the sub. It was a couple of hours ago, I'm sorry. But I've just seen it now. Heiko went 7-1 in first kills, though. Yeah, I'm not really that sold on new Liquid. I don't think it's like a squad that inspires the biggest amount of confidence, but I guess we'll see. Hey, blinded. Yeah, it's been a it's been a big day today. I think we were like 1.8k viewers peak earlier this morning. A bit quieter now because the series. Yeah, it wasn't maybe that expected to be that good on the face of it. But also EMEA's on now, like Liquid and Navi are playing, so... Four versus four, Plex is 20 HP. I still think he gets one here. Never mind. Might be setting up a lube though. Is there a trade that's coming in there from YZ? No, YZ's just going to leave. Why? Because the rest of the team is towards A. They're ready to go for an execute here. Aluba has a lockdown. And Wai is just dangerous. You're on a train at the moment? Oh, well, safe travels. Wai is going to see if he can maybe find somebody like on the harbor wall, just on the other side of it, on the top. He read that well because that's exactly where Wise he went. Two versus two, and K Knight's gone up there. As... Mm, okay, what are they planning to do here? He's still got a trip here. Like, is that over the top? Is that the one that's on? Like, I guess. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's on top of the other side of. Um... Thingy. All right, that's one, and K Knight peaks just as they get half. Five chances. These guys just refuse to give up space without dying now. He hears the steps behind him too. Audio was kind of weird there. And then he cut out for Wolves, so this should be 8 for BLG. You have a judge for Plex, Phantom, two sheriffs. And that judge is pushed all the way into B. The Plex just doesn't give a fuck, does he? Holding for just anybody to like push this, anybody to do anything. Ooh, where's he going to be? We're on the angle, clicks for the judge. They're going to push the judge into the garage. He gets another one before he has to leave. It's still like a free versus free now. 
Your summoning is the Viper's Pit. Is this the round that you use it on, really? Like, maybe just to confirm it, otherwise it might get out of hand. Recon is available for Coldfish. Even uses the Aldron. Aluba gets one. Ooh, a little bit of a whiffy fight. He was about to use the Viper's Pit. Oh my god, why he was in a clutch way as a Sheriff. And look how low Bear is. He's 9 HP. Oh no, that's not how you lose it. That isn't the round that you lose this series on, Billy Billy. Oh no, you lose two to a judge. You die before you even use the Viper's Pit. What an absolute mess. But I'm so happy that Wolves won. <laughs> like, it's good to see that there's like respect put on the name. But I, I don't I don't want that to be the clipped. I don't want that to be shown to other people. Good God, Billy Billy, what has happened to you? Somebody tell FNS that they've lost it might cheer him up. Are there any more games for China? No, that is the final one. So, EMEA is on. You would have only missed the first map out of Team Liquid versus Navi, which could very much be a free mapper. I'm going to stick around to see what the stats were, at least. And we'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. my time. Where we'll have the elimination games, which I think the first one is Tyloo versus Nova. Do we get to see a bit more of Guam? And then also we have JDG, surprisingly, up against all gamers. It's an apt ending, BLG losing to a judge. That is very true. That's the way that the script was written. It's cruel, but yeah, I mean, I think it's a warranted series win. We still haven't seen a full best of three series play out for anybody in China. Maybe tomorrow. It's just been two zeros, kind of one-sided two zeros, other than the JDG tech one. Uh, good result, I think, for Wolves.